see you. All right, then. Hello, everybody. Pips in it. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, but we decided, you know, there are some things you can't unsee. So we decided we keep our kit on. Yeah, he said, oh, I, I gave an April Fool's joke. I'm like, oh, my God, you're going to get us banned. Get out. There was, there was nothing rude there. There was no. Oh, look, 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 look. There's a ton of peeps here. Who we got? Gilda, we got Sean. Helena, we Nicole. got Gilda. We got Jessica. Hello, Jessica. Jessica's not a channel member yet. We'll have to persuade her to become one. We have and Geraldine. Susan. We have Nicole. We have Helena. And we have Susan. And, and we have Cass. Cass. Oh, my, gosh, oh my goodness right. gracious me. Well, hello. We, apparently, we've just hit our live goal or something like that. So I don't Ash know. wants to go on the list for a card. <laughs> well, I Ash think. will go on the list for a card for sure, for definite. All Absolutely. Right. This is marvelous. Look, Sean's in both places. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> He's, 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 he's waffles, 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 waffles. Oh, stop! <laughs> oh no! Look, we got somebody got spooky, spooky hands with zoomy stuff. How I have no idea what that was. How do you know what that is and who sent I it? I don't know. It's probably Ash because she's like sent a superpower. A super. Well, thank you for the superpower. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Mary. <laughs> oh my God, it's too much to keep track of now for a little piece uh, of fluff like me. Happy Monday. Well, we must apologize if our if our uh, energy seems a little low. We're both in a little bit of owiness. Well, I'm in a little bit of owiness. I've got a, a bit of a, a thing going on in my left foot, which is just fun. We both have left past things. Yes, yes. How do you become a channel member? Hit that button join. <laughs> so I think somebody tell Jessica how to become a channel member. I'm not an expert, but... Um, I think everybody's shown up for readings today because it's Mercury <laughs> Retrograde. Oh, they just wanted to see us naked. April though. Crazy <laughs> and Holy Holy Hector. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Oh, and Carol's here as well. Carol's and here. Laura's here. Yep, oh, my I got goodness. Them. Everybody's right, bleeding We've got a ton of readings. All oh, right. Well, it's fun, isn't it? So there you go. All isn't, right. life, isn't life just amazing and all that fun stuff? So. 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 What are we doing? Well, when I posted my rabbit rabbit today, I said April's <laughs> going to be amazing. Oh, God, no. Um, in fact, I'm wondering where Savannah is. <laughs> Maybe she's having interesting times, too. I don't I don't know. Oh, goodness gracious anyway, me. Um, well, we know that Mercury went retrograde today, and it'll be retrograde till the 25th. But we also know we could feel it the week before for sure. I know a lot of us had a fun week last week. And we'll still feel it for the week after. So that basically means that for the entire month of April, we have this um, Mercury retrograde silliness. Okay. <laughs> Which is miscommunication. And what I like to say um, for Mercury retrograde is think of the re. And re. all of the words that start like that, like redo, rework, revisit, reorganize. Um and let that kind of be your theme. What? I'm just looking at the God botherers come up on the tick of top. <laughs> Never it's, mind. It'll be all right. Do you understand mythology, my friend? Perhaps not. Oh, well, God. Mind. Oh, wait, are you mean somebody that called themselves God botherer? No, or they wisdom are... and understanding apparently oh. is, is decided we need to repent because we're going to burn in hell. Did oh, you know hell is just God a word bother. for light? But never mind. Don't, anyway, don't pay on. the God botherers any mind. They have <laughs> their sorry. purpose. I'm sorry. They have their purpose. All right. So, um, Reorganize, redo, rework. Think of all the things that you could look at again and make better. That's a it great is. thing to do it during is. Mercury Retrograde is take care of some old business and, and fix things up. Mm -hmm. Now, um, because we have all this other energy contributing, like when you look at the chart, everything is over there and uh, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, everything is all kind of banding together. It's mm. quite, quite dramatic. And uh, there's Anna. Apparently so, chat was disabled at the now. That's so Mercury retrograde, Anna. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, and we got Logan joined us. <laughs> Hi, Logan. <laughs> Hello. This is, so what, what I'm going to say is in light of all that, it might be best to kind of check your filter. Now... Um, I know I don't really have one anymore. <laughs> well, I, I've kind of... Should I put um, some green eyes on that kind of filter? No. <laughs> well, I kind of speak my mind these days. But we do have some, some harsh energy uh, that may make us be a little more... Um, somebody put green eyes on you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Ash, stop messing. <laughs> no, mess. I love it. Go on. <laughs> oh, Lord. <sighs> um, yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> so um, Mars, the planet of war, uh, mm. that rules Aries, the sign that the sun is in and the sign that the eclipse will be in next Monday, mm -hmm. is about to run into Saturn, the planet of karma and restriction. And this is going to happen in the sign of Pisces. So we look to um, these two planets to kind of tell us what might be happening. And we look to the sign to tell us where. So we have war, aggression, <laughs> um, pressure, mm. passion, drive. Yes. Mars. Yes. Um, running into Saturn, which means these two characters are going to act as one. When oh, they, no. When they come together, it's called a conjunction. Conjunction, and it junction, means these, what's your function? These two characters are acting together. Well, if you think about conjunctions, they're kind of like that in language. But anyway, um, Saturn is restriction, lessons, karma, uh, time itself. What was the old name for Saturn? It was Cronus, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I think it was, yeah. Like, and they're cool. happening in Pisces, <laughs> which is water and drama. And we see uh, the beginning of this with the bridge that came down. Mm. Yeah. So I think over this month, we may see more of these kind of... Um, difficulties and it's possible that there may be something that happens in like the Black Sea or the Sea of Azor. Azov. Azov. Azor. Azov. 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 Um, yeah, I don't know. Srilic is difficult for me. But I And know we might mean, yeah. see some military action uh, in the Middle East having to do with humanitarian aid trying to come in from the water. Mm. Well, or, certainly into Gaza there is right now. Or we might second. see some difficulty um, with like the Suez Canal or something. There's going to be some entertaining interesting times, things isn't there? there. It is an entertaining time. I don't um, know. We but, should just try and spread a bit of love. Yeah, That's what you, you want to check your filter and mm -hmm. you want to try to again ask, is this coming from a place of love? And I think the most important thing is not to overreact mm -hmm. because it's... Jupiter is very, very close to Uranus. So mm. Jupiter wants to expand everything and Uranus is chaos, panic, and disorder, right? Um, Uranus is also um, stuff with computers and technology and, you know, AI and all Deep that. Deepfakes. <laughs> <laughs> right? And Jupiter Can't believe wants, your eyes anymore. Jupiter <laughs> wants to expand that or spread that. And so as you, you know, you can see we have communication issues. We have war and restriction and lessons. We have chaos expanding. And we have the uh, eclipse on the axis of Mars Libra. And, war and justice. And we got a devil comment. A devil comet. The devil yes. comet. Yeah. I, I, I looked up my name, but I can't remember what the hell it is now because I'm useless. It's some but, kind of P blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But it, it's got two horns. So there you go. How fun is that? And so, yeah. Oh, Jessica's joined our sweep team. And ah. Jessica joined us as a, a channel member All on right. the Tick of Talk as well. She's got, got double duty. We have to give you All two right. readings now, Jessica. Oh, there's Savannah. I was wondering where she was. Hello, Savannah. I hope everything's going well for you. Gosh, what it, we've got a whole bunch of people. Keeps joined. This is just so much I know, fun. A lot I love it. Going on here. And somebody somebody popped up and joined our thing on the ticker top with the name Amish Electrician. What a fantastic handle. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> they joined so they get a card? No, no. I, I just okay. saw them join. I didn't think I did just well, we have to All keep right. a gift. We can see who's given gifts. There's like All five right. people there. We can I don't keep know that. what to do about that. Oh uh, well we'll figure it out. Because we, we we're I'm gonna sure, I'm very sure shortly actual get point to the point out. where we would be here three hours. So Well, yeah. But, yes, I figured it out. Technology. Oh, look, we got we got some groovy lights now. <laughs> I just don't know what all this is. Ah, do you know anything about Hecate? We sell a Hecate statue. Um, <laughs> but not not my personal well, deity, to be honest. Well, I know that uh, Hecate is the goddess of the crossroads. Mm -hmm. And keys. And, uh, well. And labyrinths. Okay, you go ahead then. No, you go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I'm always in it. It's only the depth that varies. Well, Please. I, I can't. The train of thought can't even get started before it gets derailed. Anyway, I don't know an awful lot about Hecate. We have um, a statue that we did commission about Hecate, but we have someone who has a relationship with that deity, work with the artist, if we don't have a relationship with that deity. But I can tell you that she is the goddess of the crossroads, that she um, is uh, like a dark goddess that would help you work with difficult times and um, like pulling back veils and trying to see uh, what's real and what's not. And she helps you make decisions. And yes, she is a goddess of keys. And she has a three dogs or a three-headed dog, depending on where you Kerberos. Is. Isn't it? Well, that's Hades' dog. But maybe it's know. Hecate's dog. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. Don't ask that's me. all I know about Hecate. <laughs> it's all Greek Not to me. <laughs> but I'm ching. All right. <laughs> So yeah, she's considered a dark goddess, mm. but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It just means that she'll help you work out your bad stuff. Oh, not that we have any bad stuff. None of us we, do. We're, no. just, we're just sweet and everything. All we? right. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so I think that we'll talk a little bit more about the eclipse, of course, on Monday. Well, but yes. But I think the really important thing for this next week is to try to keep your head on straight. <laughs> If you feel really pressured, challenged, or, you know, um, effing angry, it's best to just count to 10 or 100 or a million or whatever makes you feel good. Um, I know that I checked myself today. I had a, I woke up to a fun incident. And um, if I hadn't checked myself, I would have been really, really scathing. Mm -hmm. Um but I, I wasn't. I was. I took the high road. It's always um, best because you know you say something you can't unsay it. Can exactly. You? you say something and you, you can't, can't unsay, unsay it. it. That's, so I'm just going to so check true. my my squirrely notes here. Hmm. She has notes today. Look, there's notes on the back. Hopefully they aren't. Well, any no. I'm just. I wrote things down like this: Mercury retrograde um, will help us to find our voice and help us to speak out and to recognize the truth, and to speak in truth, um, and to speak for justice, right? Um, the Mars-Pisces thing isn't all bad, but there is, um, you know, discipline that will be needed for that. But you could channel, you know, the whole idea of understanding what's going on in the heavens is so you can channel it, harness it, and make the best use of it. These available so energies, that, yeah. So that Mars-Saturn offers great discipline, mm. right? So you might say, okay, I'm going to be um, starting something new. I've got this Mars-Saturn discipline. I've got uh, this eclipse where I've let go of something, you know, during the, the full moon eclipse. And... You know, I'm going to restart my diet that I started at the beginning of the year because I now have this discipline of the Mars-Saturn to harness. You could do okay. that. Sounds or good. you could start, because it's um, happening in Pisces, you might want to start some sort of new divination and learn something new um, esoterically or start a new um, routine. Uh, lighting a candle. Or... Well, yeah, and uh, also don't forget you've got that beautiful period. I mean, you can make Mercury retrogrades work for you. So if there's something you sort of half-assed before, and mm -hmm. you know, now's a really good time to get back on it and finish it up. Yeah. Um, because it's it's, you know, you you can re-examine that, especially issues that to do with communication or, or creativity ideas. You know, that that higher thought and that sort of stuff. You know. Mm -hmm. Um. So so. There's there's no such thing as they say as a catastrophe. You just have to use the the energies of the stars in an appropriate way for your work. Could you explain your glyphs to me? You've got you you've written some. Listen, I don't know my my stuff. Look, what's that one? Conjunct. That's conjunct. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is a south node, right? That's north node. <laughs> All I right. was exactly wrong. No, it says um, <laughs> north node, sun, Chiron, moon, Mercury. They're all. In, in conjunction. So the south node's the other way up then? Yeah, the south okay. node is opposite, so it'd be in the opposite sign. Okay. But yeah, that, that little bit, if for those who can read ephemerises, 
This is ephemerides. I, I, I don't know how you can say it, but anyway. well, it's, it's all right. Awkward. So what I wanted to say about that, since we since you pointed that out, I will talk a little bit. All about right, that, then which, go for it. Which is, you know, Aries is pretty direct, uh, right? Really? I call Aries my like ready, shoot, aim, and I don't really uh, do asteroids, but I do sometimes look at Chiron because it is the wounded healer, right? It's like the shamanic kind of energy, and you see that um, North Node, Sun, Chiron, Moon, um, and Mercury are, are all in Aries. And in fact, the, they're all, the Sun, <laughs> Chiron, and the Moon are all at 19 degrees and a few different minutes. So that's how we have the conjunction. So Chiron is sandwiched in between the Sun and the Moon by just minutes. I don't know much about Chiron at all. And um, if, if, if we think about Aries, the, you know, um, in astrology, we do have the uh, I for each sign, right? Oh, Samaj. Okay, got to add him to the list. Chiron, that's my guy. Follows me everywhere in life. Oh, well. All right. So, <laughs> Take your so asteroid we, and leave. There's an I for each <laughs> sign. And Chiron is... In, um, hi, hi, Cindy. Chiron is in Aries, and Aries is I am. Yeah, yeah. I'm right? very Aries powerful is words, I am. I? Aries is very much in the present, and um, you know, we could think that this conjunction may point out to us during this eclipse the wounded healer, right? The wounded healer is going to say, I am wounded here, mm. right? Where is this, this shamanic healing needed? In the present, in the I am. However, mm. we can harness that energy of Mars and Saturn in Pisces, which brings us that forceful karmic energy and Pisces I is I believe. I believe. I believe. So this is a very powerful time for manifesting and healing and bringing justice. And these things happen micro within ourselves, within our community, right, all, right. all the way out to globally. Mm, yeah, there's a lot of injustice in the world, isn't it? It would be nice if we could see a bit of yep. justice restored. Restorative justice, particularly, because an eye for an eye just makes the whole world blind, right. you know? And I'll, I'll talk more about the eclipse and the path of the eclipse and how that affects the places it crosses over next week. Okay. Um, but I've, you know, I've got quite a lot of notes here. But just, just think, about, um, think about I am and what you want to own. And think about um, I am baggage, right? What is it you don't want to own anymore? You're not baggage. Right? Like, what has somebody told you that you believe? Right? You're stupid. Oh, I am stupid. You're fat. Oh, I'm fat. Mm. You know, you shouldn't be so confident. Oh, I'm not confident. What? What is that you want to get rid of? Because this opportunity of Chiron sandwiched between the sun and the moon, Mercury and the node, holy man, could we do some really good I am healing, you know? Mm. Leaving the baggage at the lost and found. Yeah. We do we do tend to wear badges, don't we, that others stick on us. And we tend to, we, it's almost like part of our conditioning, you know? We, we're like um, conditioned to, to take on what we think is, you know, people expect of us. And I mean, my grandfather would say, whom I've never met, by the way, he'd say, hey, lad, you know, what they think sort of thinks of these, none of your business, you know? Because... It doesn't matter. What matters is what you think of yourself. That's that's the really important thing, you know. Savannah. What you're feeding in there, you know. What you're feeding in what there. You're what you're feeding in. What you're feeding in there. What you're saying. Savannah's no. listening to us on the car radio because she doesn't want to miss it. And yes, Samaj, I think this is um, if everybody took care of themselves a little better, we would have full cups to be able to take care of others. Wouldn't that be And lovely? if we all took care of ourselves and others 
then the planet would be a better place. Wouldn't it? You know, if we if we put even just one hundredth of the energy and expense that we put into waging war or you know hatred or vitriol into actually spreading a bit of love, how how nice do you think this planet could be? Oh my God! There, there is an Everybody alternate. Everybody could have food and medical care and housing and steady now and steady. love. Steady, and comfort steady. Comfort and peace of mind and That's education. That's not capitalism. Steady. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. You hurt like I, I hell, don't move. you? Let me see if I can do this. I'm sorry. Uh, Send us some good vibes, everybody, pips. She needs some right now. Send it to the left side of my back. Uh, past. There's something in the past that must be clearing. Always. All right, this is Sean of the New Day. Sean of the New Day, who goes first? You. Me? I should go first. Let's see what we got. Okay. Um, hold on. <laughs> flying covered. <laughs> so flying covered. Yes, covering fire. I don't know. Just hang hang on, mate. Uh, things are brisk. Things are going to, if you think things were brisk, they're going to get brisker. Um, but this is a very good thing. Notice the energies are cohesive. They're all going in the same direction. So if you can harness those, maybe like this astrological asterism we have right now, if that's the right word, I don't know. Um, if you if you can harness the available energies and, and almost like some kind of jujitsu master or whatever, you know, use that energy to... You, you only got to, you know, like push the boat a tiny bit with your finger to change this super tanker's course of action, you know. But do it and and get on it. And this is a really good thing. This is a house on a hill with a river running past. So you've got you've got your good you got your good feng shui thing going on there. I feel like there's something very positive going mm. on with real estate or something. Oh, there um, you go. I don't really think you're buying or selling, but. Um, there's some really good news regarding property and if it's not land it's some other kind of property or ownership of something um, I think it's very good news regarding that yes the answer is mainly in the soil oh, <laughs> Gilda. That's, that's it. oh Gilda change, change and, and renewal um, sometimes when we look at this character we see the white flag and we think that they're um, surrendering. I don't necessarily see that in the way we would think of surrender, like giving up and allowing someone to take you prisoner kind of thing. I think this is more about surrendering and letting go of past hurts so that new life can come. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> this is Gilda. Mm -hmm. Um I I know, but what's really jumping out to me uh, when she first pulled the card and I, I I'll go up here. Gonna Ooh, I'm going to burn my hand. I don't know if you can see that the crown of the king is squashed in the dirt there. It's like the the horse's hoof has like decided to squash it into the dirt. So I think this is following on almost from the reading that you had last week. This is like something, somebody who's been like claiming, you know, incredible authority is going to get a major league comeuppance at this point, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, and I think their authority will be removed from them. <laughs> Oh. So, so I don't know, but I see this as a, a really good transformation for you, particularly. So I, I don't know why. I've just felt, you know, sometimes things come out of left field, and so I open my mouth and let the words fall out. So there you go. All right, you're first for Geraldine. Geraldine, Geraldine, how are you? Ace of Swords, no longer a passenger. Um, and I think honestly, you've been working on this. I think this is really good. Resting back the sword of control. And I think you'd be doing a really good job of that. Um, it, you don't have to run somebody through just because you've got the sword in your hand. You don't have to. But it, it is very much like, you know, bringing back your your self-sovereignty here, your control in your life. And I think this is, you know, uh, indicates a really good victory at this point for you. I feel like this has to do with conversations that you're going to have over the next couple of weeks. 
and how you're going to present those um, words. So I think that you are going to take control of conversations and speak with authority, but I also think you're going to speak with compassion. You know, um, you don't necessarily have to be mean or sarcastic for somebody to understand your position. So person on the tick of top with the blue butterfly, because I can't pronounce blue butterfly, but that looks like it is your, your name. Um, I think you sent us a gift, but that's all you need to do is send us a gift. And if you did, you'll get a reading. Uh, and How if you did, you let us know. How do you track of that? Um, we can press something at the top here, but I'm, I'm, Ash can tell me because she's good like that. <laughs> can, you, can you? Marissa. Hello, Marissa. All right. Ash um, will tell us. Okay. Yeah. Marissa, did you send a gift? If you sent a gift, we'll give you a reading. No problem. Doesn't have to be magnanimous. All you know. right. Doesn't have to be TikTok universe. I'm first want for it. Helena. Uh, uh, there you go. Um, Helena. Oh, hey. This is a Kraken card. Um, this, my old soul friend, is asking you to really um, trust your intuition. You know, trust that which lies within you. I think you've been very good at second guessing yourself of late. And um, you know things and you know you know things, but you still wind up second guessing the fact that you know you know. And really, you should just allow your intuition to come to the fore. Maybe do some, I don't know, meditation or something, or, or work on your divination skills. You know, do, do something like that that's gonna really help you because, you know, there's, there's innate wisdom there that needs to be accessed. I think this is kind of literal, saying don't be the hermit. Mm, well, time to get that. out there, time to get moving. Um, sometimes, Sometimes we do really get quite overwhelmed and we like to we like our own energy and we just kind of hide there with our own energy because it's really hard to make ourselves get out. Um, but I think now this is t trying to say, look, you have this beautiful light. Don't keep it hidden. Take that light out and share it with others. Mm, there you go can't be bad so yeah Marissa did give us a gift I can see in the top there when it changes from subscription goal to whatever you'll see her face come up okay and so she did all I right see. so we'll stick you down on the list Marissa. All right. Thank so you. I'm first for Nicole 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 is a recent channel member thank you for joining decisions 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 I think Nicole you are going to make a big decision over the next couple of weeks that is going to um, start a new phase of your life so th there's really a, a big step here um, sometimes what I say about this card is the person is blindfolded and they cannot see that the swords are exactly the same the only thing they can do from the seated position is feel that they weigh the same but they don't know if one is gold and one is you know tarnished or whatever but when we get into this spot sometimes it's a time where you have to make a choice or you'll lose everything. And I think that's kind of where you're being pushed to. Time to make a choice. Time to make a choice, yes. Uh, in the words of Yoda, choose you must. And I think there's there's a time for procrastination. <laughs> yes. Why not put off till tomorrow what you can put off today, you know? Put it off again. Now, seriously, you do have all the information you need. I know there's a, an element of like, oh, if I only could see better, you know? but. If you look really closely, try not to burn myself, whichever one you're on, you can actually see her po poking her eyes through the, through the blindfold. They're just visible there. So she can actually see. So um, just go ahead, you know, because if you apply the words of the great prophet Led Zeppelin here, you know, there may be two roads you can go by, uh, two paths you can go by, but you can always change the road you're on. So life isn't just like a fire and forget thing, you know, life is very much um, a test and adjust, test and adjust, test and adjust, all right? So, so go with it, make a decision. Just, you've got to, otherwise you're just gonna stay exactly right. where you are. You're first for Susan. Hello, Susan. Oh, hey, go with the flow, be the flow, facilitate the flow. This is a <laughs> wickedly cool card. Obviously it's the Aquarian card, um, but I love this card. I, I, I do, there's, a, there's an innate gentleness to it. And it's like a facilitation 
it's interesting that we're pouring water into the water and pouring the water into the land but where's the water coming from so it, it's like but the water that's in the land winds back on the water which goes up into the air which winds back on the land which winds back up in the sea etc so this is in inherent cycle of things and i think for you to get the flow going and tune into that natural flow and maybe more sort of, you know, the rhythms of, of life, I think, will propel you forwards a little bit. All right, Susan, today this is coming through as Adenrod, oh. and her word is her bond. Oh, isn't it? Yeah. So I think the work that you do magically and the words that you speak are very important. And I also see your words being a bit like hers, where they're not a threat, they're a promise, if that makes any sense. Yes. All right. I don't know. I'm first for Cass. Well, go on then. We got a lot of people joining us today. I think know. I don't know. Or maybe it was the threat of seeing as naked that did it. <laughs> there are some things. I'm trying you to focus on unsee. Cass. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh worry, dear. Worry, 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 worry. Um. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes the past and our memories are very, very wonderful. And we want things to be the way they were or the way we perceived that they were. But we can't live in the past and we can't hold our past against our future. Mm -hmm. And I think this card is very much about making plans and having um, several plans like plan A, plan B, plan C, and really working not to worry about how things were and plan out how things, how you yeah. want things to be. Uh, I, I'm going to really second what, what Lisa said, Cass. Um, Regret is something that serves nobody. Um, you know, what's happened's happened. You can't unhappen it. Um, that was written into the story, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the story. You, you can certainly write a different ending. So, so try to move forward. So if it's something that bothers you, you know, um, it's okay. You just, just you know, we, we do whatever's necessary to do, redress the balance and move forwards. And worrying is drawing the wrong energies to you, you know? So so don't worry. Don't worry, okay? All right. You're first for Ash. Oh, hello, Ash. There you go. Hopefully you're still with us. Ooh. Oh, old soul card. Love it, love it, love it. This is my uh, own personal thing with the three pyramids, that and the hermit. So, I don't know. I think, I think you're you're getting inspired to do something here. This is very much, for me, like the inspirational card, or in Welsh, mm. as mm. and it And it really is. It's like you're, you're breathing in all this incredible creative energy that's, that's around us. And I think you're going to turn something out that's even going to surprise you, which is great, you know? Embrace the creativity. That's what I would say. Embrace it. I think this has to do with that ninth house sad stuff. Learning something or remembering something. You know, sometimes when you have a past life connection to something and you stumble upon it and you, you, know, you start to read about it or you find that somebody who's teaching it, it, it like comes to you like second nature because it is part of your nature. And I feel like there there is there's something opening up to you that has past life connection or memory that you will not just be learning, you'll be remembering. Ooh. I think it's going to be quite exciting. That's cool. That's pretty cool. We dig that. We dig that vibe. All right. This is for Anna Marie, not um. to be confused with Anna. So Anna Marie. <laughs> I'm sure Anna's here as well. Anna's here as well, but I, I don't want this... Don't confuse, confused. Confused. Do confuse the two. Do not confuse the two. Marie. <laughs> right. All right. Right. <laughs> All right. Cycles. Things are changing. Wheels are turning. Things are happening. Um, be aware of all the components that make up what you want to achieve. Right? So have yourself a little bit of a list 
or a timeline or a way to move forward, to start the wheel moving in the direction you want it to move and not to miss a step so you end up going backwards. So I think things could really propel themselves forward, um, but they do need you to steer. Yes. So before I uh, chime in for Anna Marie on my thing, just a little bit of housekeeping. The numbers of people watching and the number of likes we're receiving, <laughs> they're, not, they're not the same. I know, Samaj they're was like, come on, same. do our friends so, a solid. <laughs> so if you would just, just unabatedly spam that heart button or whatever it is, throw some likes, throw some roses, throw some whatevers, all right? And thank you very much for that. All right, so moving on then, Anna Marie. Um, Oh, spin the wheel, round it goes, where it lands, no one knows. Ah, but no. Yeah, but no. Somebody has to steer. Somebody, <laughs> Somebody's up the top with a chuffing sword there. Notice, it's up to you how you engage, whether you choose to play the game, whether you choose to... You know, there will always be tricksters and people who want to get the better of you, of this. You know, this is this is the nature of life. In in a situation where, you know, there's inherent good, there will always be some gutter shite come up and try and make bad of it. There will always be that. But don't let the... Turkeys get you down. Yeah, for want of a better word. Don't, don't, don't let anybody come along and pee on your bonfire. Just be your magnificent self and, and just, just do, you know? And I think it'll it'll come good for you uh, have the list but we'll make it timeline what mm -hmm. we i don't know what you're talking about well she's answering me because oh okay <laughs> unless you pay attention to what i said nobody All pays right, attention to anything for carol. <laughs> you're first for carol 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 where are we oh hello um okay. yeah again on the <laughs> on the subject of uh right let's let's yeah there's an element of cutting through the crap but also i think there's a lot of pent-up energy here but i think that's all because we've been like off with their head. Off. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't, no, don't, don't. Um, it's all good. <laughs> I'm going to shut up. <laughs> Take what? it. Well, you... I don't know. That's no kind of reading. It's cracking um, me up. But... All right. I feel like you are getting back your solid foundation. You're getting your firm footing. And maybe you haven't been swinging very much because you were afraid if you swung too hard, you'd fall down, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think now you, you got your firm footing and you see your targets. And I think you're going to really make some strides, mm. some achievements. Um, I think things are favorable right now. Ain't nobody going to break my stride. I'm running and I won't slow down. All right. Got I'm first for moving. Laura M. Hello, Laura M. If she's still there, I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Magic it up. Oh, there you go. That'll All work. right. So, you know, I was talking about manifesting. I am healing the wounds and what you believe in. This is make it so. So what do you want to let go of? What have you been carrying um, that doesn't belong really to you, right? Are there some disappointments that are blocking you that maybe you could just get rid of them mm. and fill that space with something you know and believe in, you know? Look, this is a very creative energy. You can get yourself where you want to be. Just have to believe it, mm -hmm. right? And, um... Chiron, that wounded healer energy says, where are you carrying these scars? And, and why are you just looking at those? Mm. Look at what you can create to step forward. Exactly. Um, this is, you know, whenever I see the magician card, I can't help but go as above, so below, as within, so without, as the universe, so the soul. Mm -hmm. You have the, the remit, you have the power, you have the ability to bring forth what it is that you want to bring forth. But it's all about your belief and your focus and where you put your energy. I challenge you, if you're putting your energy into things, oh God, that's horrible and this is difficult and that's hard, that's what's going to manifest. Difficulty and hard and horribleness. But if you see clearly your vision, if you see it, if you can know it, describe it, paint it in your head, make a vision board, whatever you've got to do, it will happen. 
You've just got to focus your energies. That's all it's about. It all comes down to the focus of energy. So there. All right. So there. So you're first, and this now is for Anna B. Anna. Anna B. Anna B. Anna B. Oh. Time to take another look in a slightly different way. Um, if you find yourself, uh, no, we, we haven't got to you yet, uh, Marissa, but we will. No. We'll, we'll yell. Um, uh, so this is really, um, you know, sometimes things you just, you just can't see your way clear. It's like you, you just see this obstacle in the way. And until you actually change your perspective, until you actually physically move, you know, it's like, what color is the house? Well, these walls are painted these colors, but until you actually go around the back of the house or move to the side, you, you can't tell what it is. So you may need to change your perspective here, turn things upside down to get a clearer view. And I think this will enlighten you with the information you need to move forwards and be ultimately successful. Yes, this is very much about attention to detail and being able to see that it's both a six and a nine, right? Um, also, I always like to point out that this guy is in a position of astral projection. Oh, yes. Um, and you can project forward your thoughts and ideas and ideals. And I don't know, I just feel like mindset and details are really, really important this week. Mindset and details. Um, you know, Mercury retrograde can let things be a little bit foggy. So, so <laughs> double double check and you'll be fine. Well, <laughs> My things there. are a bit upside down right now. Oops. Yeah, a little oh, bit, a well. little bit, but you know, it's all right. Sometimes you have to turn things upside down to, to make All right, sense I'm of first it. for Jess. All right then. Yeah, see what's happening, Marissa, is we have people on YouTube that are ahead of you. That's what's going on. So this is for Jess. Yes. It's this one. There you go then. Ooh. Hey, that'll do. Now this is this is a, a like a soulmates card, but I don't think that this is necessarily um, that kind of relationship. What jumps out to me on the card right now is that Caduceus. There's some sort of amazing healing work here. Um, uh, uh, finally, an understanding. Finally, a healing. And not necessarily just for you, but for the other person who's finally getting it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, this, although this is, some say, the Minor Arcana Lovers card, I think it's there's more to it than that. It has a, a far deeper meaning for me. And the indication of the mutually healing relationship, this idea of, like, you know, you reaching out to somebody and at the same time they're reaching out to you and, and between you, you help sort each other's issues or problems out or whatever so this is a a really really good card um so yeah i i don't know if it's it's straight up necessarily a romantic relationship but it's a very close sort of soul buddy soul to soul kind of relationship so somebody in your cluster you know honor them support them and they will support you right back that's me i think okay. yes I'm trying um, to be quick here. It's, I understand because we got a lot going on. So what I'll say to you, um, people who are joining us who we don't have on the list for cards, please feel free to listen in to the other people's readings because it tends to uh, have a theme or there's like an oversoul of energy. Oh, yeah. And something may resonate to you that's being said into this group mind. Mm. Um, all right, so Absolutely. you're first for Savannah. Savannah, Savannah, and Savannah. Samson, hi, I see you. Uh, what I'm gonna say to you is, we only do readings for channel members on Magic Monday. Or you can throw us a, 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 super, a chat. super chat. We'll, we'll, let you, we'll let you off with a super chat. All right, um, this on the face of it does not look like a good card, does it? To be honest, the Ten of Swords, it really doesn't. Maybe it's acupuncture. Uh, but but maybe it could be <laughs> joking apart. It's interesting that this this character's fingers are crossed at the at the back there. So 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 and also we've got the break of a new day coming there. So whatever it is, that I think there's a combination of things going on here, Savannah. I think 
you finally need to lay something to rest. I think you've been carrying it around for, for too long and it's, it's doing you no good. So lay it to rest and yeah, um, I explore possibly acupuncture. It might be really, really good in helping you deal with your chronic pain issues. That's, I don't know, that's just what jumped out to me was some sort of um, pressure points, meridians, some sort of different kind of massage. Um, or e even reflexology that's going to work with different parts of the body. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I, there's, I feel like it's something going on to heal physical body, not necessarily um, emotional or mental, uh, which I know they're all connected, but I think that this is about healing the physical body, and I do think it's possible. You just have to find the best way to do it. Mm. All right. Okay. Just not near the computer. All right. Oh, that's all right. Um, so who's first? Me? Am I first this time? I have no yes. idea. Go it's, for it. It's anyway. Samaj. <laughs> Samaj. All right. Samaj and then Marissa. Samaj. Samaj. Yes. You can roll your eyes and squash your asses. Samaj. Ah. You will have time. You will get it all done. You will manage, even though it seems crazy. And you will come out on top. So I think you're going to get your whole list done and then some. And I see some really good manifesting happening. I, you probably know this, but uh, I'm, I, are you on? Which one's he on? Is he, he's, he's, on this? he's on YouTube. Oh, OK, look at the feet. Look at the feet, look at the feet, look at the feet, all right? So I see the sort of the, the grunt work being done here and moving on to the, the sort of the elevation in status here, which is fantastic. Um, did we miss Nicole? No, we did her a long time ago. We did you a long time, you She's have saying to scroll back. is freezing. Of oh no, oh no, it's Mercury retrograde, of course it is. Anyway, um, so long as you can stay on top of the, the rapid developments around you at this present moment in time, Samaj, so long as you can batten down, you will move forwards in leaps and bounds. You've got to be on your toes a little bit here. It's, it's no time to be... Dragging your feet, to be honest. You, you've, you've got to be on your toes. You've got to be uh, quick to respond. But uh, respond, don't react. Yeah, respond, don't react. But but um, if you if you if there's nothing here you can't do. You, you literally tower over the landscape. So knock it down, deal with it. And yes, you will move forwards in leaps and bounds. Good insights. Love hearing good news. Well, of course. Right. So Marissa, this is you. This is you. And thank you for being patient. All right. You're first for her. Is she a question? What? Is that a question? Is that? No, that's a different. No, that's not her. That's somebody else. That's somebody else. I'm, I'm misconfusing things. Who? I'm, I'm from first yes. for Marissa. All right, let's have a look. Here we go. All right, Marissa, perception is key here. If we look at this card, and I'll just bring it up without, so I don't, don't, don't burn myself to death. If you look closely, we see here um, a blindfold and bound woman surrounded by a prison of swords on a tidal flat with the tide out. In theory, it don't look good, does it? Except if you look closer, you'll see there's not a single knot holds any one of those binds. She can just a simple shrug, they fall away, lift away the blindfold, you'll see the, snor the swords do not actually ensnare you at all. You can just walk the hell out of there. So be careful how you're perceiving things at the moment. I think you're perceiving something to be too much of a difficulty when it really isn't. Um, I think just just lighten up um, and try to have a more optimistic viewpoint and you should be able to get from there. Sounds like rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. What? Rabbit totem. Rabbit, rabbit. I see this for you as, um, Marissa, some sort of initiation. Oh, hello. Taking a plunge, answering a call, saying yes, trying something new. Um, and, you know, sometimes they're difficult. And you got to pass a test, but I feel like you're going to be able to do it. Has to have the courage to face the assignment. Yep. Mm. All right, card of the week, folks. Card of the week. Cause, now cause remember, we got a lot going on. And so now we're just torn. Remember, by. we're we're going to respond and not react. We're going to try. We're going to count to ten before we freak out. <laughs> At least. <laughs> we're going to filter our comments and we're going to filter our sarcasm. 
This is how we're going to survive, yeah. with, right? Um, and not get like fired or I don't know. Sarcasm is one thing I'm good at. <laughs> um, and we're going to send out as much peace and love and light as we can, right? Mm. As much peace and love and light as we can. You know, um, the pandemic messed a lot of us up. It it even made some of us afraid of hugging each other yeah you know so if we can't physically hug someone let's try to give them that emotional support and, right, right. and light in a in a, a different way but it's a really important time to care for each other it is it is all right card well, thank of the you week. for the kind words marissa that's very kind of you card of the week oh hello be solid mm. don't don't waver um, you know, sometimes we know something and we know it in our heart of hearts. It's not like our psychic vision where we think we know it. It's not like our gut instinct where we're attached to it with some sort of, um, you know, lower vibration. But sometimes we know in our heart of hearts that a certain thing is a certain way. This is the Aries card, by the way, where all the focus is. Hold on to what you know this week. Hold on to what you know. Mm. Yes, Hannah's just chimed in. He rules Aries, doesn't he, Just Yes, yeah. he does. Yeah. Um, Whenever I see this card, it's 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 really interesting because sometimes I get that weird little operetta. I don't know if you guys remember it. It was Gilbert and Sullivan, and there's a bit where when there are constabulary duties to be done, to be done, a policeman's not is not a happy one. This card reminds us that sometimes we have to <laughs> we have to take the high road. We have to do the solid. We do have to. Um, you know, maybe draw a line, maybe draw a boundary, maybe say that's, you know, this is not acceptable. This is, this, you know, we, we have to take on sometimes the role of, of the authority. Uh, but understand um, that power is meaningless unless it's exerted with compassion and understanding. So, so bring that compassion and understanding to the situation you don't have to run anybody through but you may have to you know be firm and and do a solid here as the saying goes right because remember that that we talked about this that that symbol for aries isn't just the ram's horn it's also the female reproductive it is the forcefulness to find a rebirth mm. a new light hold on to what you know yeah, yeah, hold tight to the rim, eh? Yep. As the saying goes. So, thank you guys. <laughs> um, God, time just flew by today. I know, we have tons of stuff we have to we get have done. So we're moving do. very slowly. <laughs> I know, we, we, we're going to hobble around a bit today. So, so if, if you can send us a little bit of healing energy in your, in your thoughts, we'd be hugely grateful. Um, and and we shall we shall just go and dive into doing everything we've got to do. And we'll catch so, up with you if next you, week. Please, thank you for liking us. Smash the like button. Share everything everywhere. Tell all your friends about us. We'll be back next week, same time, same bat channel. As the same. And goes. at some point, I'll record the tarot scopes. Oh yeah, well that's another thing you got to do. They were today. in an email if you were. If you're a Karma Points customer, you would have got an email, got with, an the, email the with the scopes. Yes, so so there you go. Check them, check them, check them. Thank you, everybody. We love you guys. Um, can you just move the candle so I don't singe my arm off while I do this? <laughs> we, <laughs> we love you guys. We'll see you. We'll see you next time. How do we do this now? I'm gonna press that there. I, don't know. I think it takes and, longer to do it all. Uh, end live before trying it sub only live. Oh, <laughs> what? Well, I don't know. Stop that. <laughs> It's just saying weird things. All right. And we'll say goodbye over here also. Thank you, Blessed guys. Be. Blessed Have be. Have a wonderful week. week. Hold Bye on to for what now. You know. Bye. Bye. Um, not bad. All right. Let's see. On TikTok, we got 451 views.